Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be fixing a crack on the old IQ here. Ever since I bought it, it's had a crack down here. When I got it, it had tie apps over it, but when I, I wrapped it, I cut the tie apps, so I haven't fixed it yet. I bought a, um, a plastic crack repair tool kind of kit online here. And um, we're going to test it out, do a bit of a review on it, I guess. Comes with a bunch of different little metal um, repair pieces and then a bunch of different kinds of plastic, whatever kind of plastic you got. Well, that's kind of like a little soldering gun sort of thing almost. It opened up here on the bench. It's got some different little heads here to melt plastic on your crack or whatever filled in after. And it's got yeah, all these different little attachments and plastic here. I think I'm really just going to use these. They're a bit of a, like a wave kind of shape. Okay. I'll take them out after, I'll show you. And then the little sanding pad here. Um, I, I might put some plastic on it after, we'll see. It's also got this wire mesh, it's kind of cool if you had bigger holes, you put that and then put plastic over it. But um, I think I'll just use this for now. We'll see how Alright, so I got it all set up here, ready to go. That's what the little metal piece looks like. So you melt that in, then you cut off the little tabs that hold it to the gun. And yeah, it just heats up and yeah, it'll melt in. Alright, so I'm not sure how long it's to take the heat up, but we'll give it a go here. It's smoking and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to start at the top here where the crack's the smallest. I need to push it together a bit. Well, that worked pretty good. I'm thinking it'd probably be pretty easy to burn yourself sticking a new piece in there, so if you're doing this, be careful of that. Yeah, no complaints on this so far. This thing works great. It's gotta be a lot stronger, just tire apps. The nice thing about it, if, it, if they hadn't drilled holes before, then you wouldn't be able to see it. Do it from the back, no one ever know really. Alright, so once you got them all in and they're to cool down and harden up, you're just going to cut all these off. A pair of side cutters. I'm going to put safety glasses on them. And then I think I might actually go over with a bit of plastic after. Just to finish it off. So I'm really no expert in plastics. These are all different kind of plastics they're made for. Maybe give me a let me know in the comments. Nylon, polyurethane. Let me know what a slit skidoo uh, hood's made out of. Polycarbonate, TPO, TEO, um, polyurethane again. Another TPO one. ABS. I don't know, like that's plumbing, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm gonna go with one of the clear ones, just because it's clear. Alright, so I got the other attachment on there. So, what I'm saying from this is you just kind of put this to this and then melt it on there, I think. Maybe I'll bend that a little better. Should I fill in that hole? Yeah, I don't think you want to inhale any of this.
I wonder if it says somewhere on here what kind of plastic this is. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, looks pretty good for now. It's not exactly smooth, but you do something with that bit there. Um, I guess I'm just gonna get a piece of wrap, a couple little pieces of wrap, double it up a bit. Kind of hope that holds. First, I'm just going to kind of do one like that. I don't want to do one on the outside or over top. This still wants to be a little neater. It's still just a pass job. Here's what it is, kind of. Just for giggles here, I'm just going to put another piece on the back. When it gets cold, it'll want to crack, so the thicker you can put it, the better. And then I'm going to put some foil tape over all that, and then this will go by the wall. All right, so overall that worked great. If I would have had, um, if I would have known which plastic it was which, what this is made of, even if I cleaned up a little better, that probably would have stuck a little better. But I wasn't worried about that. It's been like that for a while, anyway. So as long as I get some metal in there, it should be solid. But, um, yeah, that looks great. And yeah, that like that welding gun or plastic repair gun, plastic welding gun, whatever you want to call it, that worked great. No complaints at all.
that was cheap 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 kid i think i got it on amazon it was like 50 60 bucks or something like that worked great all right thanks for watching see you next time